he has to finish the job for me. typically go it literally just drive around that's all you have to do like ooh, it's kind of messy. so right now like I'm going to downtown usually downtown spots with old buildings you know stuff like that you'll find graffiti old alleyways go under bridges uh, I know a lot of times you guys have bridges that go over some water and there's usually a little road that runs down there those are sometimes really good spots just because there's graffiti um, it looks kind of just rugged and so kind of like right now I just went over a a random bridge I haven't been down here before and so I'm just gonna get over here it looks like I kind of got to drive through a little parking lot or whatever to get down here but you can kind of see the bridge up there that I'm about to go under and sometimes these are just really the best spots a lot of people don't like to go down there and if for some reason someone goes on there and says hey this is private property and they try and kick you out they're not you're not really gonna get in trouble unless you see a private property sign so try and avoid private property signs purple paint that's spray painted that means private property whenever you're taking pictures you want to make sure that the sunlight's hitting on your vehicle you don't really want to hit the Sun where it's casting a shadow over your vehicle it's gonna be really hard to edit and really brighten up those pictures so you want to try and hit where the Sun's on you so it's bright enough for the picture and you can kind of edit it and uh, the best apps that I use you can get them on iPhone and Android is Lightroom it's a little bit difficult to use when you're first editing it but once you get a hold of it it's super easy and really quick uh, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube that you can watch but uh, Lightroom is definitely the best way so the kind of camera that I use is a D7100 it's a Nikon it was a little difficult to kind of get figured out but I just watched a few tutorials and it's after I watched a few tutorials I kind of just went home looked through it and I figured it out within just, you know, a few days and I kind of slowly started to master, you know, within time taking pictures and I kind of figured out the angles. And some of the angles that I actually look for is when I get a shot of my truck, you want to make sure that if you're shooting for the graffiti, you can kind of get that in the background. Crank out your wheels. Try not to just keep them straight or leave them at an awkward angle. It looks really weird. So you want to make sure that whenever people are looking at this picture of your truck, they see everything. They're gonna see, you know, the wheel. You can even tag the companies that are in that picture, you know. Anthem Wheels, they like to see pictures of their wheels. Neato Tire, you kind of tag them. So the more companies that you can portray in those pictures, the better your chances are of being featured and then more people following you and getting more exposure on social media. This place is actually a little bit nasty. You got some toys and stuff and Mother Earth. Nice, okay. And looks like someone's maybe sleeping down here. It's like a blanket. Oh, dude, this is where somebody was sleeping. He stacked up all these logs. Now it's his blank. Dude, this is somebody's house. I'm trespassing. Trespassing right now on his house. I won't mess with this stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and move over here and try this other spot and see what it looks like. So this is kind of another spot. The other spot wasn't really the best angle. I really do like this bar right here because I have it centered up between the pillars. If you can see down it, uh, I'll post a picture that I take below, but you really want to make sure that you get a center all the way through it. The sun's hitting directly on it. It's not really casting any shadows, so it's going to be really easy to edit. So, I mean, it wasn't the most amazing spot, 
but I mean, I did like Between the Pillars. That was pretty neat itself. Um, I like that one a lot. You know, the first single in front of the graffiti, it wasn't really cool enough graffiti to take pictures in front of and whatnot. Shots, they were all right, but they weren't the best. Um, actually, just right across this little bridge area. So this spot, like I was saying, see, it's kind of gross. There's a bunch of trash and stuff lying around. But I do like this old building. It looks so pretty. That sign is so neat. Uh, Thomas Fruit Company. Oh, okay. So that's pretty cool. Okay. But I mean, see, this this is just it just gives off like an old abandonment vibe. And and, and so again, right here, I'm incorporating that low shot. You know, I'm getting the camera as low as I can possibly, and trying to get that low angle shot. And then I'm also getting this in the background um you can kind of see just in the video what it will look like and then imagine getting some shots like that so you just really got to look around and just be imaginative you got to think outside the box sometimes so another thing uh, i will say about now you can kind of work with the environment if you kind of want to get some bushes in it and kind of get the picture of your truck in the back those come out with really cool shots sometimes and I'll kind of post a picture below and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. And so you kind of kind of see the pictures that I was posting where I'm using the environment to my advantage. I personally don't really like that, but with different people, it kind of just uh, changes. You know, some people like that style and that's what they'll kind of shoot for. So uh, there's a few more tips and tricks along with that. So this is a pretty cool spot, literally down the road from this spot I was just at. And if you can kind of see behind us, this uh, is some train carts. So I think this will throw a pretty cool vibe. You know, um, I'm gonna pull up here, I'm gonna turn my lights on and get some shots. Uh, I'm gonna do the low shots as usual, you know, some middle shots where I'm kind of crouched and then some higher ones and see how they go from there. And around this time, what is the time exactly? So 420, 425, uh, the sun's about to start setting here soon. And this is what they call the golden hour. Uh, you know, the sun's shining right there and you can get some really pretty cool shots. I'm actually gonna have my girlfriend jump out and we're gonna do some shots of her and of my truck. <laughs> oh, this one's cool. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> uh, I'm recording, am I supposed to? Yeah, you can record. It is smushy. Yeah, it was. It's super muddy here. I literally just rinse this thing off and I spray the tires down. <laughs> and... <laughs> so yeah, I literally just detailed the wheels <laughs> and I put tire spray on it. But one thing, I did put a sealant on this to kind of test it out, see what it looked like from Voodoo. So I guess this will kind of be a test run to see how it works. So it's going to throw mud everywhere, but it's not a big deal. I'll just rinse it off again. I just did all the detailed stuff or nothing, but it's whatever. You got to do whatever to get the shot. <laughs> but, um, so this is a pretty cool shot right here. We got the sun in the background. Oh, we got the train cars. <laughs> we got the sun in the background. We got the train cars here. The mud on the tires actually looks pretty cool for this shot. And uh, I'm going to turn on my Taylor pods, my head of light bar and get a few shots. Yeah, good. Oh my gosh, there's mud everywhere. Literally caked up. All inside. It's worse on the front of it. And it's just skunking up. Skunking up on my feet. I am not really too worried about it to wash off but it's just there's a bunch of freaking little rocks and it scratch this truck even more than what it is I'll switch you. He has to finish the job for me. <laughs> oh, sh okay. Go 
go ahead. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> well, okay, I meant to match you that meant again to. and now, But I mean, I didn't mean to get stuck in freaking. <laughs> and it wasn't necessarily that <laughs> it was trying. super deep. It was just, it was slick. It like, was really slick. I, I, I was trying to walk over and about slipped and ate it. So we'll Ooh. just get out of there and whoa, it's bumpy as hell. Now there's mud everywhere. Sorry, people, did not mean to do that. If you're seeing this, I swear, I promise you, not mean to do that. But listen, you're gonna hear all these rock chunks flying everywhere now. Shh. Eh, it's not that bad, never mind. That was terrible. <laughs> I did not want to lock it in four wheel drive either mm -hmm. because this thing has locking hubs and I have to get out and wait in that mud and I do not have mud shoes waiting shoes for that. on. Yeah I just got like little normal shoes. Tennies. My, my tennies. Like, and I'm driving around with my freaking halos and stuff and they're on red and I probably look like that dickhead they're like that little little gay boy who's driving around with all those lights on. And of course it's red you can't have red or blue. Yeah I know. If I'd have passed you turn the them off? Yeah shut them off. Okay. Cool. Okay, so you missed the first and second turn. We're arguing about where the place is at because we don't know. I know where it's at. Yeah, there's a one way. You couldn't go down this way. You go, oh, I can't go that way. <laughs> so you went down to the next one. Don't stop like that. Okay. Yeah, I guarantee it's this way. It's not it that way. way. I don't think so. I think I passed it. I think it's maybe the next street up. It's this one. I guarantee it's that one. I'm going to go around and I'm going to circle around. Okay. And you're going to give me that 100 bucks for sure. The bed's off. Cross your fingers. I'm gonna cross my fingers. Dang it. Oh, you. We win. Public parking prohibited. Shoot. There it is. Not too bad, just a little bit of dirt. Just craps all on my shoes. But, I mean, it's not bad, it's just a little bit of mud. Yeah, it's not bad. I've seen a lot worse. It's not caked up under the wheel. Well, like I said, it wasn't really deep. It was just super slick. Oh, that was a rock. This is a solid freaking rock. Wow. But there's this spot right here is the planes. Paper airplanes are pretty cool. So that's a pretty cool little shot. So this is the final stop. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this thing off even though it's freezing. But I just don't want this mud and all that crap to, I just don't want all that crap to dry on there. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this thing off and call it a day. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, tell me what you guys wanna, like, subscribe, tell me what you guys wanna see, what you wanna hear. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys for subscribing to my channel and even watching. Have a good one and good night.